I have like a 10 year, 15 years whatsoever career already and I rarely played in Italy. And all of a sudden last year it became uh, yeah, one of the countries that I play mostly now, beside obviously Germany and uh, the UK. And I saw the other artists that are performing here and I realized that it's a festival that is not focusing on the typical top 10 big names that I'm used to play with on other, other festivals. So I thought if a festival is actually supporting this kind of stuff, then it's maybe a good place for me. I was actually doing sport and I was having a pretty good sport career and I had a little break because I had an injury and I was it was 1991 or something and uh, I was going out and I was falling into this and um, I think with what I'm doing I'm one of those guys that is doing it all or nothing so I basically you know stopped studying and uh, didn't do anything else than concentrating on the music and not by actually like focusing on it and having a master plan uh, it was just love and I was like all right this is it I'm going for it and uh, especially in the beginning you don't really think about it you just do it you know and then there's a point maybe after seven eight years where you're sitting down and saying like okay now I'm 25 and is this something that I really want to do and um, then you're already so deep into it in any meanings by your adjustments in your life by your love for it and also by business-wise that um, you go for it if you see a chance. I don't know what more to say, hey you, what's the delay inside, cause I just can't envision it, you pretend people can see who you are. I was DJing for a long time already in Berlin and I met these guys from Jasonova who asked me to do a house label on their, um, on their Sonar collective platform they had and I did this. And after a couple of releases, I realized that um, they're really great guys and it's big support and I don't need to invest money in it. I can just dream what I want to do or do what I was dreaming what to do. And um, But I realized that I became 30 and if I ever wanted to do a record label, I thought this is the moment to do it, you know. I felt a little bit old already <laughs> and I felt it was just the right timing to basically stand on my own feet and not depend on anyone else anymore. And uh, even if they gave, they gave me all the freedom that I uh, asked for, I felt like uh, the whole responsibility is, is actually to invest money for it and if you do a mistake, it's you suffering from it. And if you do good, <laughs> it's you doing good from it. Um, so this is why I decided to uh, to go independent and I teamed up with the, the guys Christian and Frank from Arm which are very close friends and our yeah, maybe our main artists on our label and we decided to release dance music the way that we think it is great dance music something that we play and this was going on for a couple of years now and at a certain point we realized that um, it's not science to do a record label and if you release 30 records, then uh, it also is uh, hardly always extremely fresh to release something new um, that people dance to and that you play out. So therefore now we decided to concentrate on a lot of other things like releasing books and doing some collaboration with video artists, doing some stuff with fashion and uh, Concentrating also on music that is maybe not obviously something that I would play out but it interests me because after all the years you are uh, dedicating to music you discover a lot of stuff that uh, is not necessarily what you play in a club but it's something that really touches you and uh, teaches you maybe something. Um, so we, we actually thought of releasing um, now in the future also music, CDs that is maybe hidden games from the past or side projects that we're doing um, that people might confuse a little bit but maybe this is the interesting part of it now. Yeah.